let me continue with the third system. And this system is more on the right side, on the side of the floating systems, the free systems. These are the systems where the government doesn't intervene that much. But let me explain you first the managed float, which is the not extreme version of the float systems. So in a floating system, in a managed float, managed float is the name of the system, right? Managed float is the third system. So in a managed float, uh, we have something similar to this, the price and the time. And we also have some bands or some limits that the government has in, in, in their own. They don't publish these limits, they have them. So the, the, the point or the objective of this first system is that, it, again, if something is about to happen in the economy that will make the price go higher or lower from those limits, then the government has the option. And here is the keyword option. In the other one, it was an obligation in the soft pick. But in the managed float, they have the option. It's not mandatory. If they don't want to, they don't do it. But they have the option of intervening. So now let's do a quick analysis. And one good example of this is Mexico because Mexico uses a managed float. So in the managed float, I will say that price stability is always is also more or less okay because uh, it is not perfect stability as this, of course not. The dollar, the price of the dollar to pesos changes every day. But you know that if something really bad happens, and then, I don't know, the market makes it go to 40 pesos per dollar, the government is going to do something. Do you remember or have you heard in the news that the Central Bank of Mexico sell reserves of dollars in the market? That, that's the intervention that the government is doing. They say that there is a risk or something, so they send more dollars to the market so sellers don't increase the price. Uh, police independence, again, again, I think it's one half because although the government has the option, it is possible that they will do it. So it's not like they have total independence, but still they can just decide to not to do it because they have the option. It's not as in here. In here they are forced. It's an obligation. And in managed flow, they have the option. That's why it says more or less. And finally, free currency flow. Here I want to make a quick parenthesis. In the case of Mexico, we historically have have had a free currency flow because we can buy dollars, euros, pounds, anything, right? But according to the system, it is possible that the Mexican government can close the market and then for some time we can't buy or sell foreign currencies. It hasn't happened yet, but it's possible that it can happen. I think in Colombia, which is a country that also uses a managed flow, it has happened a couple of times that they decided to close the market for five or 10 minutes, but not in the case of Mexico. So it was just a parenthesis. Let me continue in the next video with the next system.